Good morning, church. It's Tuesday morning. Take your Bibles and let's go back to the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians. And we're looking at spiritual gifts. Today, I just simply want to read over the gifts and make a comment that the gifts come in three distinct categories. Uh, one is going to be speaking gifts, that is gifts like teaching or preaching, things like counseling, the, the gifts that takes uh, the ability, you have to have the ability to speak at least uh, to communicate well. Another gifts are going to be in the category of service gifts. That is, they're gifts that you do ministry with, you gifts of helps and, and gifts that you do things uh, with the physical realm uh, to be able to minister to others. And then there's another group of gifts all by themselves, and they're the ones that are the most controversial, and those are the sign gifts, the speaking in tongues and miracles and uh, doing those sort of things. We're going to be talking about those as well. But here's what Paul does. And there's only four places in your scripture that Paul gives a list of gifts. Two of them are to the Corinthians. Uh, one he does uh, to the Ephesians. And really that's a little bit different because that's the gifts of apostles and prophets and pastors, teachers, and so forth. And then in the book of Romans. So only a few places he lists gifts. And none of them are exhaustive. But what it is, is a representation of the types of gifts God gives to human beings. Like, again, there's various gifts. As unique as we are, uh, you can count gifts. Um, so here's what he says in chapter number 12, verse 8. For one, to one is given the word of wisdom. The word of wisdom, to be able to counsel, to, to be a, a, a mentor to others through the Spirit. Okay, it's the Holy Spirit that gives you that ability to do so. To another, the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. The word of knowledge is, is more like somebody who has that giftedness to be able to, to retain knowledge, to study something, to see it clearly, and, and are able to, to grasp deeper things. Uh, pastors need that a little bit as well. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the same Spirit. Verse 10 to another working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But to one and the same Spirit works all of these things, distributing to each one individually as He wills. For as the body is one, it has many members, but all members of that body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized in the one body, whether we're Jew or Greek, whether slave or free, we all have been made to drink into one Spirit. So we all have spiritual gifts. We've all been immersed into Christ. We all have the Holy Spirit of God. And He gives each one of us different gifts, but He gives to us different kinds of gifts. Now, some people have crossovers. They have the gift of speaking, they speak well, but they also have the gift of mercy or, or helps or some other gift. Uh, so they cross over into to various uh, categories. But we're going to be looking at the categories and beginning next time, we're going to start with a category that is the most um, divisive, the one that creates so much trouble in churches, it splits churches. And that is those sign gifts that God gave for an intended purpose for that time. So come back with us. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to understand more fully how to talk with someone who claims to have the gift of healing or the gift of miracles or wonders or whatever. Th come back and, and we'll, we'll talk about that. But also uh, look for your gift to see what it is that maybe God is going to use you in doing. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that we have been filled with the Holy Spirit, that, Father, we have received the gift of eternal life, but also that you have granted to us a gift that we can use for your glory and for your honor. Help us to use it wisely and to do it, Father, in a humble way, not bragging about ourselves, because, Father, only that which we can do, we can do only through you. Without Christ, we can do nothing. We love you, we praise you in his name. Amen.